All right, I thought I would show this. Hey, bearing separator and get that race off there and get that out of there. And that's all I do is if you don't have a press, that's easy enough. You just have to find a stock like that that it'll fit in. And let me see if I can actually tap on this. Just kind of, I might not be able to do the whole thing, but there's a. Usually a soft hammer. If, I mean, obviously, if you press, then you already know what you're, do, what you're doing. You don't need to have me instruct you on this stuff. See, it don't take much. Uh, you can see the gap in there already. It's about ready to fall, fall through. So... But that's all I do to get that off and I get that piece out and it's a little trickier to put the other stuff back in because you have to come up with different rigging to push it the other way and uh, but that's yeah, you know, I, think it's, I think I still use this last time when I did it the first time when I was just cleaning the bearings out now I'm just doing everything just because the spindle facing wasn't worth smooth accurate but I'm sure Everything, I don't even know if it's trued up off of this spindle when this thing was assembled or if they just make it to a basic thing and if I'm just going to have to treat it like a brand new back plate and on them and just figure out how to true them up and go through that learning process. I'm pretty good with this stuff, but as far as truing up a back plate, I'm probably going to have to watch somebody else's YouTube videos and uh, figure that out. So I just thought I'd show you so you, you know what this stuff looks like, the spindle out and all that mess. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this so far.